So far, we've learned how to navigate the ribbon interface to access tools and commands. We've learned how to use the Explorer tool to explore the civil data inside of our design file. We've also taken a look at how to navigate the different views and the models in the software. Now I want to spend some time just accessing and analyzing some civil data that's stored in this particular design file. So knowing how to analyze civil data and information is an important skill needed for designing and reviewing projects. In this example, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we review coordinates. We're going to take a look at how to review coordinates in a 2D context as well as a 3D context. So let's go over into our file here. Navigate down to the bottom of the status bar next to the default panel area here. There's a blank area and if you right click there, you'll have access to some other settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the running coordinates. And what this is going to do for us is it's going to allow us to see the X and Y coordinates or the X, Y, and Z coordinates in a 3D context or the station offset and elevation in the cross-sectional mode. So if you left click into the 2D view here, notice in the show hide area down at the bottom of the screen, it's giving you immediate feedback, giving you the, the coordinates. If you zoom into the beginning of the alignment and you just snap to that alignment, you can get the beginning coordinates of that alignment. If we take a look at the 3D model, if we zoom into any point and snap to any point in the 3D model, I'm going to go ahead and snap to that same point in the 3D model. Let's go ahead and snap to the top there. You can see we have the X, Y, and Z values as well being displayed in the running coordinates there. And then also if we come down into the cross-sectional view, Again, I'm using the element selector to make these selections and snaps. You can see here that we're at this particular station and the running coordinates is giving us the offset and the elevation value as we move our cursor in the view. So if we just snap to the centerline point here, you can see that that's at an offset of zero and the elevation is 171.319. Again, the same functionality would also work in the profile model view. So if you zoom in here and you snap to a particular point, you'll see that we have a zero offset and the elevation is 166.403. So that's just a useful tip on getting some coordinate information from your civil models. Now the next thing I want to take a look at is how to analyze a point to get station offset and elevation information. So we navigate up to the home tab here and we come over to model analysis and reporting. If you go to civil analysis and you select analyze point, it'll prompt you to select an element to analyze a point. So what I'm going to do is I want to select the London Road alignment. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and notice I can scroll along the alignment, I can track along the alignment. It's giving me immediate feedback. It's giving me the station, the offset, the elevation, and the slope based on where my cursor is being placed. Also notice down in the profile model view, let me zoom out here a little bit, that it's also showing me a vertical tracking bar showing me the relative location in the profile model view as well. If we zoom in here to the intersection of Church Road and London Road, and we just do a tentative snap or snap to the intersection there where the center line of Church Road meets London Road. Let's do a little snap there. You can see we have a station value of 59 plus 96.86. Our offset is zero, and our elevation is 170.646. Also notice the vertical tracking bar in the profile view also displays that particular location. To remove the snap, just simply do a right click and then you get back into the main view. Those are just some little tips that you may find useful as you're working on your project when you need to analyze just some basic information from your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.